everyone and welcome to today's video which is my five star predictions. I have ten books here today that I feel like I'm going to rate five stars once I read them. And a lot of these books are actually like new books that I got around my birthday and I know I did say that my birthday book haul was coming super soon. I did lie. I lied. I filmed it. The lighting was terrible so I wanted to film it again because it literally looked orange the lighting. So I'm going to try and film that again. Um, I do have some other videos that I've pre-filmed for when I'm away in Japan so I've got to fit those in as well and then I'm going to post my book haul. So sorry it's taking so long but it will come out eventually. But some of these books are featured in that book haul so you do get a little sneak peek today. But the first book I bought recently and I'm so excited to read it. I know so many people have already read it because everyone was so excited and I've been so excited too that I've just been finishing off other books first but that is I in flame. Look at this. It's quite thick, much bigger than Fourth Wing, but of course I loved Fourth Wing. I do have a reading vlog on Fourth Wing showing all my thoughts whilst I was reading, but I gave that a five stars, so I'm expecting that I'll give this a five stars as well because I did love it so much. I don't even really know what I can say about this because it is the second in a series, so I don't want to give anything away, but I'm sure all of you have heard of Fourth Wing. It's got a war college where there's like battle training, there's dragons, the dragons talk, which is great, but there's also like an enemies to lovers or romance in there, which we all love to see, but I'm just so excited to read this. The first one left on a cliffhanger, so I'm looking forward to see all the results of that cliffhanger in this book, and as I was saying it is quite thick, so it's going to take me a while to read. It's 623 pages. So yes, I am a little nervous to actually get to it because of how long it is, but I'm sure I will love it. I am expecting a five stars. And of course, there is a map, like always. We do have the map of the War College and then a map of like the country. But then also included in this book, which wasn't in the first, is like the system of the wings which is so fun because then you can actually see how it works out because I was having trouble like imagining how the wings worked but there you go so fun. The next book that I'm expecting to give a five stars is also a fantasy book and is also one that everyone's been loving and that is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I'm so excited to read this book. I've been following Lauren on TikTok while she was writing this book like a couple years ago so it's so exciting to see how this book is published, traditionally published at that, and how the second book is coming out soon as well. So that's I think middle of next year but she's showing the cover. I believe it's called Reckless. This is it here. Yes, I'm so excited. Obviously as you can tell by the title, it's powerless. I guess it doesn't really make sense so I'll explain it to you but in this world I believe the elites or like the high people in the society all have like superpowers but our main character whose name is Peyton, she does not have powers so she has to try and pretend that she does so she can blend in with the elites. I don't know what happens if she gets found out but I think this is also like an enemies to lovers and I'm excited for it. I think this also has a map which is what we love to see. It's a marker of a great book in my eyes. The little slogan thing at the top here, it says hunted, hunter, destined for each other. So yes, enemies to lovers. I'm so excited. Love this cover as well. But I cannot wait to see what this book is like. When she was posting her TikToks on it, I remember she would like post little quotes of the characters and I was just like, I cannot wait to read this. So I'm expecting great things and I'm hoping for a five stars. Next is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson and I don't know too much about this book except that it's based around like great libraries and there's like dangerous grimoires so our main character, I don't know if she's a librarian or if she's just at the library, I assume she's a librarian but it just feels like my vibe of a fantasy book. And I have read one Margaret Rogerson book before which was Vespertine and I really enjoyed that, like I loved the writing for that. So I'm expecting good things, I love this cover. I just think it's great. And I do remember seeing lots of people here on YouTube say that they liked this book when it came out a couple years ago. So I'm excited to finally get to it. 
Next is The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. I've never read anything by this author, but she has been quite popular recently with this book and her book, The Dead Romantics. I don't know if those are her only two books out, but I've heard like lots of people love them. They're romance books with a kind of sci-fi twist. This one follows a time warp. So our two main characters, which I assume are the love interests, are in a seven year time warp. So one's from the past and one's from the future. I don't really know how it all works out, but it sounds really interesting and I've never read anything with this sort of premise before, like a little time warp or time traveling. So I'm really hoping that I'll love it. Next, I have a series and I feel like I would rate at least one of the books in this series five stars and that is the Inheritance Game series. I am expecting great things. I haven't read a good YA mystery in a long time and I'm thinking that this is going to be the one that I start back with. If you didn't know already, this series was like quite popular on BookTok but I haven't got around to it yet. I do have the first three. I don't have the Hawthorne Brothers which I believe just came out this year but I'm excited to get to it. I think it will have all the right vibes. I don't know which of the three that I will rate five stars, but I have a feeling that it will be one of them. So again, with most books, I don't really know the full premise, but this one, I believe our main character Avery gets left some money from a billionaire, but in order to actually get the money, she has to move into the mansion, which all the billionaire's family actually lives in and like compete in these games to try and win the money. I don't really know why she has the money, how she's related to this billionaire in any way, or if it's just some sort of luck, but I don't know. I'm very interested, and again the slogan at the top sounds really interesting, it says a billion dollar fortune to die for, so I don't know if there's like any murder involved. It is a mystery and a thriller, so I'm interested to see what's happening. I also believe there's a love triangle in here, um, because there's like a bunch of brothers, I think I remember hearing something about a Grayson, don't really know. I've heard like little snippets on TikTok, but I'm looking forward to it and I think either this one or the last one will be five stars. Next I have a book that I'm so surprised I haven't actually read yet and that is because it is by one of my absolute favourite authors and I am nothing if not a Leigh Bardugo stan. I love her so much. So why have I not read Ninth House and Hellbent yet? I don't know. I don't know. It seems totally up my alley. It's got secret societies in Yale. How fun is that? And it has a map of Yale. So these secret societies, I think there's also like a supernatural twist. I don't know if there's ghosts or anything in there but it seems super fun. I've seen this categorized under fantasy as well sometimes, um, so I am believing there is some sort of twist. There's murder, there's secret societies, and oh, they tamper with forbidden magic and they've raised the dead. Oh, this sounds so good. And I mean, the cover looks great. The cover for Hellbent as well looks great, super spooky, and I cannot wait to get to them both. I believe they'll both be a five stars just because of how much I love Lee Bardugo. Next is a book by another author that I love and I usually rate their books five stars. So I'm expecting that this one will be two and that is Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. I don't know why I haven't read this yet. This has been featured on quite a few of my TBRs for the past couple months and I don't know why I haven't got to it. Like, I really want to read it. I don't know if I'm just, like, savouring her books so that I always have one to read. But, like, I, I can read it and she does release more. Like, she still has Check and Mate, which I haven't bought or read yet. And there's two new ones coming out next year. So, I feel like I can read her books knowing there will be more to come. But I'm just expecting great things because I just love her writing. I think it's so fun and it's got a sciencey twist as well, which I'm not really one for science. I don't know a lot of science stuff, but I find it really interesting to read about even if I don't always understand it. But it's so fun and I always love her characters, so I'm expecting great things. This one is set in NASA, so we've got some like outer space themes. Again, don't really know anything about outer space. But I'm excited! Yay! And the last book that I have in a physical format is The League of Gentlewomen Witches. This is the second in, oh, I believe it's called the Dangerous Damsel series. I read the first one in a cozy fantasy reading vlog and it is the coziest fun fantasy ever. That first one is called, oh my gosh, I always forget these titles because they're so long. But it's the blue one. I think it's called The Wisteria Society of 
lady scoundrels and i love that so much as i was saying it's so funny so fun it's set in like regency era so it is kind of like bridgerton-esque but with humor and fantasy elements so that first one they were pirates with flying houses this one i believe they're witches i think this is also an enemies to lovers this is one of my friend's favorite books so i'm expecting great things and i mean i know i will love it because i loved the first book in the series and i do love a witchy book and come on how cute is it as well it's just an added bonus like look at that i love it there's also a third book in this series which i didn't put in this video yet because I haven't read this one yet, but I'm also expecting that to be a five stars, but yeah, that is like the one of tea and treason or something. I think they're like a spies or assassins that have to team up. That one sounds interesting as well. And then these last two books I don't actually own a physical copy of and I do hope to get them soon. And the first one is Happy Place by Emily Henry. I love Emily Henry. I've read You and Me on Vacation or People We Meet on Vacation. They change depending on where you live. I don't know why, but yeah. You and Me on Vacation, uh, Beach Read and Book Lovers loved them all. I think they were all a five stars for me. So I'm expecting Happy Place to also be a five stars. I would have read this a lot sooner, except for the fact that it was in a different format than my other Emily Henry books. It was in like, I'll show you, like the tall paperbacks, like how Iron Flame is, compared to say this is like Beach Read or something. And they would have been different heights, which is not what you want, and like different widths as well. So I was just gonna wait until um, Happy Place comes out in this smaller format, which it hasn't yet, but I'm expecting great things. Of course, Emily Henry's writing is always fantastic in my eyes. The way she does characters is so good. Like they feel so real and I just love all her books that I've read. I'm expecting to give this book an easy five stars. I would expect nothing less from Emily Henry. And the last book that I have on my five star predictions list is Yellow Face by Rebecca Quang. I read The Poppy War and absolutely loved it. I haven't actually read the second and third books to The Poppy War, but I feel like they're also going to be great. But this one is like not included in that series, so I want to include it in this video because I can just read it whenever. It is a standalone. I think it's supposed to be like somewhat a thriller, but then it's also talking about the publishing industry. It's about this girl who like steals a colleague's manuscript after she dies or something. So then she comes up with a, a fake name to publish the book under. Um, and I don't know, there's a whole lot of things that's happening. I don't really know the full premise, but I know lots of people that have loved this book, which is unsurprising because lots of people love all her books. I also want to read Babel or Babel. I don't really know how to say that either. I've heard that that's great. I really kind of just want to read all her books. But this one specifically sounds so interesting and I want to read it immediately. But again, it is like the tall paperback size and whenever I can avoid getting these, I do. I do like a smaller book to hold. It's like easier to read. So again, I'll have to wait till it goes shorter and it's not as big as like Iron Flame. But those are my 10 books that I'm expecting to give five stars. I'm hoping to get to all these books super soon. Obviously, I am going to be busy in Japan. I'm hoping to read them all before like the middle of next year. Hopefully you will see these in upcoming reading wrap ups. I am excited to get to all these. I hope they're all five stars because I do have high hopes. And sometimes that can be not great for a book because if you're having high hopes, you can be disappointed sometimes. But like these ones, I feel like I could get away with the high hopes because I know so many people loved them. I would love to know if you've read any of these books and what you rated them. Hopefully it was a five stars. Or I'd also love to know any books that you're expecting to give five stars. Please let me know in the comments. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any new videos from me. I do post every single Saturday so you do not want to miss it. But I will see you next week with a brand new video. Thanks again for watching and goodbye!